Shout out to one, like the vowel, honor, and glory to Yahweh by sharing Yahweh Shah. Double honors to our apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Salutation to you, brothers, pushing this word out in truth and sincerity. It was an article I came across on the sovereigntyproject.com, and the title says Chinese ballistic missile submarines should definitely cause concern. This was published on May 27, 2016. It says, as the United States continues to struggle with adequately funding its armed forces, other nations around the world are developing impressive military capabilities. Case in point, in a recent article published by The Guardian, China is set to deploy nuclear-powered ballistic missile submarines, or what many in the naval community affectionately call boomers, armed with the most deadly of weapons, long-range nuclear-tilt warheads that can travel thousands of miles and potentially target U.S. territory. And jump down and says, so why should the average American actually care if Beijing's developing military technology in the U.S. pioneered many decades ago or is upgrading its forces in other areas? Indeed, China's development of nuclear submarines is part of a bigger, more worrying trend. The creation of a truly modern military that, in many respects, aims to defeat America's armed forces in a conflict wherever to occur. Beijing is developing a suite of weapons platforms that were once thought to be reserved for only the U.S. or would take nations like China and Russia decades to develop. Right, because China basically was considered probably like 50 years ago a country that's not known for its military power. So due to prophecy of Yahweh Shah, you know, basically weak nations are going to be saying we strong now. Which leads me to Joel 3 and 9. It says, Proclaim ye this among the Gentiles, prepare war, wake up the mighty men, let all the men of war draw near, let them come up, beat your plowshares into swords and your pruning hooks into spears, let the weak say, I am strong, which is what China's saying, which is what Iran is saying now, which is what North Korea is saying. Verse 11. Assemble yourselves and come, all ye heathen, and gather yourselves together round about. Let it cause thy mighty ones to come down, O Lord. Let the heathen be wakened and come up to the valley of Jehoshaphat, which is Yahweh Shapat, Most High's judgment. For there will I sit to judge all the heathen round about. You know, these are the times we're coming into. You know, uh, nuclear missiles about to get ready to destroy America, which uh, is going to start, you know, over there in the Middle East. And pretty soon they're going to fight. And that's when, you know, they are, they're going to come against the angels, you know, of the Most High, which is going to lead to America's downfall. And this place is going to get destroyed within 60 minutes, according to Revelation. And um, another article I came across was interesting was on beforeitsnews.com. About, it says Venezuela is shutting down. This was published on May 28, 2016. It says, We are witnessing something unprecedented in our lifetime. An entire country, Venezuela, is shutting down before our eyes. And the word unprecedented means like times that never before seen. And, you know, and times never before seen really is we coming to is Jacob's trouble, which well, leads me to, you know, Daniel 12 and the first chapter. I'm sorry, Daniel 12 in the first verse. And at that time shall Michael stand up, the great prince which standing for the children of thy people, and that should be a time of trouble, such as never was since there was a nation even to that same time. And at that time thy people shall be delivered, everyone that should be found written in the book. And that's the part I wanted right there. That should be a time of trouble, such as never was since there was a nation even to the same time. So this turmoil that's going on in Venezuela right now, all this basically is like a pretrial that's definitely coming to America very soon. You know, they saving the best for last, Babylon the Great. And um, just scroll down right here. It says, number one, electric blackouts. Electricity is being uh, rationed. To save electricity, courts and other government offices operate for only two half days a week. The equivalents of one full day. Public schools are closed on Fridays. Water shortage. Water is also being rationed. As an example, water arrives just once a week 
on Thursdays to the neighborhood of San Antonio de Los Altos, but the water's brownish color is making people sick. You know, um, the third one, food shortages, which is all this is prophesied in the scriptures, man. You know, pestilence. And then you have the famine. It says uh, food shortages. Last week, protests turned violent in parts of the country where demonstrators de demanded empty supermarkets be resupplied. You know, I'm just strolling down right here and showing people that's in the hospital, you know, because the water is, you know, it's a brownish color, so it's making a lot of people sick. You know, a lot of people are not eating, you know, which is probably leading to dehydration, you know. And they're showing people right here, you know, public health crisis, people are dying in the hospitals. So this is beautiful, man. I mean, like the words of Apostle Rumble, like we in some scary but exciting time because this is a time we've been looking forward to, man. This is a time when your house is about to get ready to come back and destroy this place. You know, your brothers don't have to worry about getting up early in the morning, have to go to work and stuff like that. You know, you have to be dealing with the woman ruling over you. It definitely don't have to be dealing with, you know, Esau controlling everything. So all this is about to come to a broke end. And we are in the times of prophecy. And that um and that's the time we supposed to be, you know, doing we supposed to be pushing the truth. This is the year to push, like Apostle Tahar said. That's spiritual that he says that because something definitely is going to happen this year. It has to, in order for this new world order to be set off, you know, and they try and push this chip very heavily. I want to get a uh, loot 21. We jump down to 36. All right, Luke 21, 36. Watch ye therefore and pray always that ye may be accounted worthy to escape all these things that shall come to pass and to stand before the Son of Man. Watch ye therefore and pray always. Of course, that's one of the main things the apostles and the elders of great Muslim always push and the brothers on down. You know, just watch. You see the current events that's going on right now with Venezuela. Pretty soon, all that's going to come around to America. You know, it's going to affect everybody here. And pray always, always call upon that name, Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, which we always push out through the Spirit, you know. And um, jump down, I'm going to get Jeremiah 3 15. It says, and I will give you pastors according to my heart, which shall feed you with knowledge and understanding. And the pastor, the most I is given to the world, is you know the elders, you know, the apostles and the elders of the great millstone. They they the ones that feed us with this knowledge and this understanding. Understanding that the microchip is the mark of the beast that's mentioned in the Bible. They feed us knowledge about who our true power is, Yahweh and Yahweh Shah. They also feed us knowledge about these prophecies that's going on, what's about to get ready to take place. You know, you got these um, different countries making these, you know, ballistic missiles, and all this going to come to the downfall of America. And you got these other camps, they basically, in a lollygag spirit, they, they not pushing out the spirit of prophecy. That's what the brothers of Great Millstone are doing to this day, pushing out the spirit of prophecy. So all these things we see that's going on in the world, you know, is prophecy. And we're the only ones that's pushing it out. And I just want to know, um, you know, basically bring this part out right here for you brothers and stuff like that. You know, this, uh, like the scriptures say, you know, this, watch you therefore and pray, man. Continue to look. You know, look at the news, filter it with the scriptures because we really are spiritual reporters. We, you know, we're ambassadors of Yahweh Shai, and we spiritual reporters also. We're supposed to warn the people before, you know, all hell break loose. And the spirit is on death. It, it definitely, the spirit is on the men of Great Millstone doing that. No other camps you see out there out of process of elimination is doing that. So I we'll hope you brothers will edify just a little quick lesson. I want to uh, bring you out, you know, all praise and honor glory to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, Double Elder, Star Apostle, Elders of Great Millstone. Salutations to you, brothers.